was my grandmother, Marguerite Harmon Burroughs, favorite song that I would sing to her as she was dying from liver cancer in 1976. My boyfriend would play the guitar. And I'm sure a lot of you know that, the first time ever I saw your face. I wanted to welcome you to a Shabbos, uh, to the Holy Sabbath this evening, and to welcome you to Living Waters, friends and extended family. So good to be back in touch with you all. And I just wanted to share a little bit about what I've been learning through studying my grandmother's life since I'm writing an article for her for Venture Inward, the ARE magazine uh, for next spring. Right now I'm calling it the pioneer of faith. And so what I wanted to share was those of you who know the gospels, uh, but I'll just remind you of Jesus' first miracle, which happened at the wedding in Cana of Galilee. And that's where his mother came to him and said, Jesus, we've run out of wine, so you, you got to do something. And she kind of forced his hand. He didn't want to do it, but he did and changed that water into wine. And guess what? Casey's reading of my grandmother said that she was the bride at that wedding in Cana, Jesus' first miracle. Ah, somebody had to be, if reincarnation is true, somebody had to be her, but my grandmother? That was so hard to believe. And Casey said she was married to my grandfather this lifetime. That was her Jewish husband and she was Jewish. Her name was Miriam, his name was Raoul. And so how could that be? I've been pondering that Granny, according to Casey's several readings, knew the master when he walked the earth. She was very good friends with, with John Zebedee, the sons of Zebedee. And after the crucifixion, when Jesus had told Mary, Mother Mary, to, that John would be her son and she would be his mother, my grandmother, Marguerite, who was then Miriam, became best friends and was an aide in the household and became best friends with Mary, the mother of Jesus. And is even written to, well, you'll have to read the article. I'm, I'm not gonna give it all away. But what I just want to bless you with is I've been being blessed with the thought of how could Granny have hung out with that group, actually been a part of the most inmost group uh, with Jesus and Mary, the disciples and the holy women, and then come back 2,000 years later and still have issues, still have problems like we all do, still have family issues, communication problems, uh, health problems. Well, I tell you what, Granny, you have really helped me to start being even more gentle on myself for having the problems that I still face at this my age in my life now and after decades of spiritual growth and conferences and reading holy books and praying and meditating this is quite a school this earth a spiritual school but we have to live it out in the flesh and in the heart and minds of us as well as soul and so let's be gentle on ourselves as we move into this holy time of the Sabbath this season of remembering our Creator, remembering to rest, remembering that the Divine loves us so much, we get as many chances as we need to become loving. I'll just sing the last chorus here. The first time. 